What is happening guys? Welcome to another vlog here on Breaking Trails. Another vlog here at Blackpool. Today we are going to be heading up to the Blackpool Tower. A very famous Blackpool Tower. I'll be showing you all the history inside. And I'm going to be taking you up in the lift as well. Right to the top of the tower where they've got a glass floor. Uh, you can look straight down on the street. So yeah, join me for another vlog here on Breaking Trails in Blackpool Tower. Grab yourself a drink. Get yourself comfy and don't look down because we're breaking trails here at Blackpool Tower. Let's go! Here we go guys, just as you come in the tower when you've pre-booked your tickets uh, There's a bit of a sign here, it tells you where everything is So on the ground floor we've got the Blackpool Tower Dungeon Escape room, circus entrance And then level 3 uh, we've got the ballroom Level 5 is the coffee company And the Blackpool Tower Eye So yeah, lots of different information on the board Telling you exactly where you need to go and Head straight up these stairs Beautiful building, really really nice building here at Blackpool Tower Just as you come up to the top of the stairs, guys, there is a bit of a model here of Blackpool Tower. <laughs> this model of Blackpool Tower made entirely out of metal and tin. Really, really detailed as well. Really, really nice. Bit of a better view for you guys. And there's a bit of information on the Blackpool Ballroom as well, uh, they do afternoon tea. Uh, prepare to be lost in a world of in elegant beauty, an experience you will never forget. Some of the old uh, artifacts here. The old cigarette packet, number six players. Blackpool Luminations there. Yeah, lots of really, really, really old artifacts. So here we go up to another level. Uh, it's the first floor, just where the ballroom is, guys. There's more steps going up straight up to the tower. You excited, Oliver? Yes. Yeah? Where are we going? To the, the Blackpool Tower. That's right. I'm going to take you guys up for the journey as well. And just on the fifth floor, guys, it is the entrance to the Blackpool Tower. Let's go. Welcome to the Blackpool Tower Eye. We just had a photo taken, they do give you a photo ID at the end of the uh, attraction as well. There's a whole host of information here. Uh, there's a picture of the tower being built at 168 foot in 1893 guys, and you can see it's just half built there. They're laying out the foundations and stone in 1891. Plenty of uh, information on the history of Blackpool Tower and the building construction. Nice video uh, elements as well. Yeah, lots of information on the walls here about the ballroom, all the details, how it was built, what year it was built, different kind of posters and displays that they used to have in uh, Blackpool. See the price there, three dollars. Blackpool Tower Roof Gardens in 1925, and see how old these are. They're really, really old. Really good information. Really, really good. Thank you. 
So here we go into the 4D cinema experience guys, you do get given uh, 3D glasses. Uh, it is a fantastic show here at Blackpool Tower. Uh, it's got full of smoke effects, snow effects, glitter effects, really, really, really good. Kind of shows you the history of Blackpool uh, throughout the ages and it shows you up to the modern day. Unfortunately guys, I cannot film uh, the 4D cinema show for you uh, due to copyright reasons. Uh, but I'll let you know how it was after the show. A fantastic uh, 4D pre-show in there, really, really, really good. Uh, plenty of effects, including snow, uh, wind, rain, really, really good. Uh, like I said, it takes you through the ages of Blackpool Tower. It takes you through the area as well. Uh, yeah, some fantastic effects there. It's about a dream of a little boy uh, who visits Blackpool and turns into some kind of superhero. Uh, flies through Blackpool Tower, uh, flies through the surrounding areas and Blackpool Pleasure Beach as well. Really good effects there in the 4D cinema. Uh, upon coming out of the 4D cinema, uh, you entered with this kind of lobby area with plenty of information on the walls there about uh, Blackpool uh, before you head into the doors by there and you head up to the lift up to the top of the tower which I will be taking you guys. It's a fun fact for you guys. The tower has over 10,000 lights connected to eight kilometers of cable which is used to illuminate the Blackpool Tower. Uh, painting the Blackpool Tower takes seven years to complete and the workers who maintain the structure is known as Stickman. So yeah, there's plenty of fun facts along the wall here. Just as you exit the lift, you face with a very ominous glass floor. <laughs> it's pretty high, as you can tell, guys. Look at the view. What oh, a beautiful view from the top of Blackpool Tower. It's not even at the top yet. Uh, there is stairs heading right to the top of the tower. Uh, but this is as soon as you get out of the lift, guys. As you can see, it's pretty high up. Not at all. Certainly not for the faint of heart, guys. If you're scared of heights, uh, I don't recommend you come up here. Just, just by the glass floor guys there is a set of steps as you can go higher again up uh, the Blackburn Tower. it's all open uh, there is a door out here uh, it's all open and people or not you can go higher again there's a couple of platforms here on blackpool tower it's gonna be very windy up here Woo! it is windy up here as you can see guys <laughs> very windy very very windy up here uh we will be going higher again guys right to the top as uh, kind of 
not halfway but three quarters of the way up. You can see the view. The view. I know. Very windy up here. Look at the view. Very high indeed. Very, very high indeed. You can see for miles, guys. And there we are. We are now at 390 foot. Very, very high up, guys. Very, very high up. You get a bit of a better view a bit further up, guys. But like I said, if you're not... Uh, if you're not too fussed on heights, then this is not uh, an attraction I'd, I would recommend. Yeah? Look at the view. Look at the what? The view. I know, it's a lovely view. Really nice view. It'll be even better right at the top. Let's go a bit higher, shall we, Oliver? Yeah. Okay, there's another set of steps, guys, on a three quarters mark. It does take you higher again. It does take you higher again, guys. Woo! And this is... Uh, still not quite at the top. There is another set of steps there. We are now at 401 foot. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty high. Amazing piece of engineering. It really is. Really, really is. I'm gonna go higher again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, amazing piece of engineering, guys. You know, uh, when you think back when they built this many, many years ago, uh, they didn't have any scaffolding. I uh, didn't have any cranes or any machinery uh, to lift all the steel girders up. Uh, so yeah, they used to use a pulley system uh, to bring up all these iron girders to pull it up. And they literally used to sit one leg there, one leg there, without any kind of safety equipment holding them in place. Absolutely a job I wouldn't do. Really, really, really high. Really good view as well, guys. Fantastic. I'm going higher again. There we are, guys. Just come down uh, from the lift up the top of the Blackpool Tower. Uh, as soon as you come out of the lift, uh, this is a photo collection point where you have your photos at the start of the experience. And there's a bit of a gift shop as well, guys. Uh, some merchandise on offer. You've got the Blackpool Tower Bears. You've got Icon for Blackpool Tower. Uh, you have medals. Trophies. Different kind of Blackpool Tower merchandise. Ah, some lovely Blackpool Tower resins as well, guys. There's some silver Blackpool Tower resins there. And you've got your taller ones there. Really, really nice. And you've got some Dungeons merchandise as well. Of course, the Dungeons is just adjacent to uh, the Blackpool Tower. The dungeon snow globes as well. Very similar to Alton Towers Dungeons uh, and Warwick Castle Dungeons. Uh, but yeah, very good. Nice uh, set of merchandise here at Blackpool Tower.